In this section, I will focus on creating a project and configuring scans. There are many ways to create a project. Using a source control such as CVS or SVN, I will use files which are already on my local disk. In order to create a project, this is the Globalizer Workbench as it comes out the first time. Click File, New, Project, and choose a wizard. You could choose CVS or another source control system based on extensions you may have added to Globalizer. The simplest way is to choose General Project Click Next. I will use an existing location on disk by deselecting Use Default Location and then browse to that location. I am choosing a directory which contains my code on local disk. Let's name the project and click Finish. Since this is the first project here in Globalizer, there are no configuration created yet to be associated with this project. So let's click New. We have created a workbench project. We now need to associate some scanning logic to it. Let's click Scan, Manage Scan, and let's create a new scan. Let's click New. I will name this scan Java and I will select a rule set from the server. In that instance, I only have one rule set currently on the server. I now need to select which directories and files to include in the scan. Let's continue. There are some more configuration that you may want to apply for that scan. We're just going to keep the default on this one. And finally here, this is a Globalizer String Externalization Wizard. I am going to select a class, which is a static retrieval class in that instance for Java. I'm just going to browse to find a class. I click here. And finally, I will set which properties file to externalize the string to. I will select a location on disk, the example resources, and you notice there is an FRFR for future translation. And now I'm done. I have created a project with one scan for one language, which is Java. I could add more, sc more scan by creating a new one or modify the current scan.